from football fans to lovebirds shaping up to be a big weekend for restaurants and bars with the big game and Valentine's Day. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is live at the Mobile Newsroom in the Elm City with a look at how businesses are getting ready. Matt. Well, Aaron and Mark, we know the past two years have been pretty rough for restaurants and bars. So this weekend, the next few days, they say they are going to be very busy. That's because you've got the big game, Valentine's Day, for the first time ever, back-to-back -back on consecutive days. And here in New Haven, to coincide with that, they are pushing out a new campaign to shop local and love local. Barbecue and the big game. Oh, nonstop. <laughs> Every minute it seems like our inbox is blowing up with those orders. Whether it's a catering package to watch from home or showing up to take in the game on one of their TVs, Bear Smokehouse says Sunday will be busy. Super Bowl is one of our biggest things. You know, our food is really fit for Super Bowl parties. And while the smell of barbecue will be in the air, the next day love will be though Bears isn't celebrating Valentine's Day in the traditional sense. We're actually doing an anti-Valentine's Day party uh, where it's like happy hour all night. We got a great DJ coming out and you can even bring pictures of your ex that will get the flame treatment. But plenty of Elm City restaurants are ready to welcome couples, including the Cast Iron Chop House and Oyster Bar on State Street. It uh, really doesn't matter what day it falls on. It's just it just brings a lot of people. And after coming off the traditional post-holiday lull in January, owner and executive chef Attilio Marini says Valentine's on a Monday makes it even better. We pick up Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, so people don't have to condense everything in one day. So you stretch it out over four days. So it's like, it's a great, you know, it's a black, Black Friday weekend is what it is. Here in New Haven, the city is pushing a new campaign. Shop local, love local. Whether it's restaurants, florists, or gift shops, like Angela's unique creations in the Kimberly Square neighborhood. The people is what keep small businesses open. So please come out and support us. And the city says no matter your plans this weekend, from a romantic dinner to football with friends, there's something for everyone. That money that you spend on your local businesses keeps our storefront businesses thriving, but it also is much more likely that every dollar you spend on a locally owned business is going to stay in our community. And if you are going out, one thing we keep hearing is to not just enjoy yourself, but also to be patient because a lot of restaurants still dealing with those staffing shortages. So especially with the big crowds, they are going to be swamped. So again, they say be patient, be kind, and have a good time. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarlane, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Good advice, Matt. Thank you very much. Coming up